Welcome to Erin's Design with Wine. I'm Erin Conover Murray, and I want to ask you to watch this video today so I can hopefully inspire you to create amazing things in your home project on any budget. Today, we're meeting with my friend and client, Ryan Paquette, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her lower level. Here's Ryan. Cheers. Okay, so we started planning this over a year ago, a year and a half ago, maybe wow. even. Yes. In the depths of COVID, you got ahead of the uh, remodeling trend and got in early. We, our basement was just concrete door and it was completely unusable, but it's a big space. So we've been talking for a long time that we wanted to make this some family space. When we saw Erin's video of her basement, we wow, do that too. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's what we want. Um, but one of the things that my husband really wanted in the basement was a golf simulator. We sat down here for many hours with tape measures, looking <laughs> up dimensions of different simulators, trying to figure out how we could make it work down here. And it was a bit of a challenge and we turned to Erin and she figured it all out for us. <laughs> I had to give them about three floor plans because there were so many possibilities in their lower level space and they had so many things uh, as a family of five that they wanted to try to accomplish in this lower level. How do you think it's worked out for you guys? Oh, it's been great. Everybody loves being down here. There's something Aww. for everybody down here. Yes. And Erin made sure that to speak with each of the kids and find yes. out what they wanted uh, so that they felt like the basement was theirs as well. The golf simulator though has become not just a dad thing, it's a family thing. Yes. <laughs> So we can play different courses on it, but we can also put games on it where you golf balls into the glass windows and break <laughs> windows on the screen. Yeah, you know, crashing it sound. It makes a noise and the kids think it's really fun. Um, <laughs> I think you can even put a baseball field up there and oh. hit balls out into the outfield and stuff. So it's been a lot of fun as a family. We're back in the exercise area of Ryan's lower level remodel. And she had mentioned before about how I had spoken with each uh, of the three children to figure out what they would like in this remodel so they could use this space as much as possible. So this is actually my space. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted my part of the basement as well. So um, we have plenty of space here to exercise, put down a yoga mat, um, and we would even have room to put a bike or something yes. more. My middle son has also used this space. He does karate, and during COVID, the dojo was closed. They were just streaming classes online. We sit here, we have a TV on the wall, and he can stream his karate classes and work with his instructor, even do some one-on-one -on -one stuff. There's really no other area in the house that he was able to move around, katas and things. And I love the fact that you and your husband get to come down here and do yoga, and have a special space. A couple of the design things that we did uh, that I want to point out is we have a TV over on the other side and we have a fan over there. But one of the best things that we did is that we have a vinyl floor running through a portion of the lower level. But on this space, we took rubber tiles and laid them on top. So they're custom fit, so it looks like it's a glue down build, uh, built in situation, but they can actually take these tiles with them if they were to ever move or use the space for a different purpose. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea. Um, and you had really been insistent on the rubber tiles because you knew that it was gonna be your yoga space. But when we found out that we could remove them and make them portable at some point, we were really excited about that. We were excited about a floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I wanted to take a second and talk about a construction detail that I turned from a negative into a positive, always encountering lots of design challenges on every project. So this wall here actually had to be pulled out an extra four to five inches, which was really painful as a designer because every inch counts, especially when you're trying to make room for a gigantic golf simulator. So. We cleaned these window sills out and created a big plant leg so that we could conceal what we needed to conceal behind the walls, but then also give them a spot 
to eventually load it up with plants. The other thing I wanted to talk about is budget. Everyone's on a budget. I have never had a client say to me, hey, Erin, I just found an extra $15,000 in my back pocket. We decided in order to keep budget down and to work this longer wet bar into the floor plan, that we would use for mica. And I think it's turned out beautifully. You just have to be really mindful about how you pair it with your other finishes. And lastly, because as we showed you in the first part of the video, we've got that amazing mural of Pebble Beach number eight, but it was becoming visually dominant in my mind before it was constructed. So I needed to find a way to counterbalance that. Um, so what we did is I recommended that we use one of my favorites, Benjamin Moore, on this entire wall. And then that gave me that visual balance that I needed so that when you walked down the steps into this lower level, it was a complete unified design ecosystem. 25 years ago when I graduated from design school, one of the biggest no-nos in the design world was recliners. And a year and a half ago, I put five recliners in my lower level remodel. And I am actually encouraging more clients, I help them with their lower level remodels, to think beyond the section. Because I have embraced <laughs> recliner life. Nothing is better when you're watching a movie than to sit back in your recliner. Ian and Ian, added five in a soft arc for their lower level. It has a cup holder, it even has a little TV tray. It's pretty awesome. That's my secret, I like recliners now.